signs, including shop signs, directing signs, and warning signs, are not merely boards made in words or graphics, but also facilities that direct people in their daily lives and help shape their behaviors in public places. The making of signs, including their typefaces, graphics, or production methods, also present the face of urban commerce, cultural, and daily lives. The exhibition Signs in Shanghai is held at Xuhui Art Museum, located in Xuhui District. It's based on the street typography collection Typo in Shanghai by Ms. Jiang Qinggong of Shanghai View Studio. The exhibition features five ways of making signs and typo styles of signboards on the streets of Shanghai. Not only artists and designers, but also ordinary citizens like shop owners and students were invited to participate in this exhibition. Now, please follow me, and we're gonna see what's in this show. Nearly a hundred exhibits are on display this time, including documents and real objects. They cover signed typefaces from the 1930s to the present day. Door panels, open facade, flags, and flags constitute the face of traditional Chinese shops. Regular script kai ti is the basic font of shop signs and accounts for the vast majority of Chinese traditional signs for its rigid structure, visibility, and affinity. It will continue to be the basis for the development of Chinese typography. There are also Western exhibits like closed glass windows and neon lights. Western arts have affected the structural change of Western types, and the influence ripples to Chinese types, making sign typo and graphic design more expressive. Well, here we come to the five ways of making sign boards. According to Mr. Jiang, he has found five ways to write and design signs based on the typefaces and images of Shanghai street signs photographed and collected over the past two years. The first one is calligraphy. Characters are written on walls, wood boards, or iron plates with pen and brushes, or carved on iron sheets and then copied with paint. This is the most traditional way of making signs. The fonts are mostly traditional calligraphy, such as kai ti, li shu, wei bei. The next way of making signboards is three way. Signs integrating traditional calligraphy and fine art elements, whether fixed or mobile, are very popular nowadays. Usually handmade by the owner with brushes, markers, pen, sticky notes, simple tools, and materials. This way is called a free way because they don't follow any rigid rule. Computer-based generation by engraving or inkjet printing is a fast solution that emerged in 2000. Black silver use. The urge to preserve old shop signs is getting stronger and stronger in the past 10 years, and the preservation of old signs has proved a good approach to storefront renovation in recent years. The last one is about fine art. The design and structure of art form are variegated depending on personal preference, theme, and location. Although there are rules for writing or design, for sketches and pattern layout. In addition to scripts and graphic design, red iron, neon light, and embossments are also very expressive. I think that's it. This is just a small exhibition took place in a small building about signs in Shanghai, which held during April the 1st to April 22nd. I went for the show on the 21st, pretty much the last second to see it. The exhibition is free to the public, and there will be other shows held in Xuhui Art Museum as time goes. If you like this video and want to see more shows in Shanghai with me, well, while well, I'm still in Shanghai doing my gap year, please subscribe me, make comments, and please, please, please give me silence.